Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. Today I have got the CNC plasma cutter all hooked up, it is painted, it is wired, it is finished, it's ready to use. So what I want to do is I want to put some metal on there and let's cut some stuff out and have some fun with it. Now the metal I got are these cutoffs that I got from the local welding shop and they're either too wide or too tall, however you want to look at it. So I need to cut a little bit of this off so that it'll fit on the table. Now the way I'm going to do that is I got this tool from Rock Steel, and so let me head over to the welding table, we'll hook this up and show you how it works. Okay, so this is the tool that I got from Rock Steel, and it is called a sheet metal nibbler. You guys may have seen this before, but here's what you get in the box. You get safety glasses and gloves, you get the tool itself, you get a circle cutting jig, and you also get the bench mount. So all this comes in the box from Rock Steel. So let me hook this up to my drill and let's cut some metal with it. All right, I've got this all hooked up to my drill. So I've got a straight line on this scrap piece of 16 gauge. So I'm just gonna freehand cut this and let's see how well it works. That is pretty impressive. That is a very, very clean cut. It didn't take very long to cut it. I'm very impressed with that. All right, so I made that first cut and then I tried some larger pieces of uh, the sheet metal that I need to put in the CNC machine. And I had some problems with the cutter, but it turned out it was operator error because uh, I switched over to this impact and it started making really good cuts again. And then I realized on my drill, I had the clutch set. The clutch wasn't all the way, it wasn't set in the drill mode. So the clutch was set and I believe that was slipping and that was causing it to, on these larger cuts to mess up on me. Then I also noticed it was getting pretty hot and it says in the, on the packaging to use cutting oil. So I've got some cutting oil here. So I'm going to try this long cut again here with some cutting oil and the drill set correct where it's not on the clutch and we'll see how well this works. All right, so here's the piece that I cut off. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but it makes a really clean cut. I mean, there's no burrs or anything on this cut. And it, it isn't straight because I was freehanding it, so it's wavy. And it reminds me kind of like a jigsaw for uh, sheet metal. But, uh, you know, it connects to your drill. And for something that connects to your drill and will cut sheet metal, I think it does a really good job. And another thing I like about it is it, it's cordless. So you've got a cordless sheet metal tool. You could take this out in the field somewhere if you need to cut some sheet metal with it. And, and it'll do the job. And this is 16 gauge steel that I'm cutting right now. And that's pretty much pushing the limits of the tool. But it will chew through there. And I mean, you can go through, like I said, it's like a jigsaw. You can make all different size cuts and curves and things with it, which is beyond what I need to do right now with it. And unfortunately, all I've got is this 16 gauge uh, steel sheet metal to cut with it. So uh, I can't really compare uh, some smaller gauge stuff or aluminum, but man, if it'll cut through the 16 gauge, it, it should go through the, the thinner gauge and uh, softer stuff like aluminum with no problem. So I'm really impressed with this. All right, there's one negative thing I've got to say about the tool and um, it's just really my situation. It's gonna be different, like if you use this outside or, or in a different uh, environment, but this stuff that the waste material that it creates is this half moon shaped stuff and it's sharp. And the problem I have is I've got a hard concrete floor and soft rubber tennis shoes and when I walked over this stuff, it stuck all in the bottom of my shoes so before I could go in the house and walk on my nice hardwood floors wearing my shoes, I had to pick all of this little metal fragments out of the bottom of my shoes. And like I said, if you use this 
outside or in a different environment, you probably won't have that problem. All right, so I have taken the table apart. I have painted the table. I have reassembled the table. I have run wire looms and drag chain and cleaned all of the wiring up. And this whole process took me about six to eight hours, but I think it was worth it. Now I've done all this work off camera because I didn't think it'd be too exciting to watch. I also didn't think it'd be too exciting to watch me dial it in. And I have cut a bunch of these Hackaday logos. I don't know if you can see the quality there, but uh, I've got it dialed in. I can't tell if that's showing up on camera or not, but uh, I've got it dialed in. There's a Hackaday logo and they also make great throwing stars. I have also cut out just some stuff playing around like little corgi silhouettes and I've also cut some license plates out for some friends of mine I don't know if you can see that but uh, that's the cut quality I'm getting from the table right now so I didn't build this machine to be a sign maker I've got a whole bunch of projects coming up uh, some of them I'll be using the CNC machine in so if you want to see this in future use be sure and subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified of upcoming videos. I also have a link to the Rock Steel Sheet Metal Nibbler. If you want to check those out, there's a link in the description. I also have a link in the description to the bill of materials and some extra info on the CNC plasma table, as well as a link to the playlist. So if you like the video, please give me that thumbs up and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.